Hey guys, this is Mara. Um, in today's video, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, psychiatric panels and what lab tests are included in those panels. So first of all, um, patients normally come in through the ER and they will be evaluated there. And if a physician is concerned that they are either suicidal um, or that they have taken certain kind of drugs, um, and are just acting strange, they may order uh, a psych evaluation and also a psych panel, which is the lab tests that go along with that. So, um, first of all, the care set that kind of they order all together normally includes uh, a CBC, which I'll get into that, doesn't really tell them a lot. CBC, CMP, um, salicylates, acetaminophen, blood alcohol, and a drug screen and maybe a normal UA. So first of all, CBC is a complete blood cell count. So that will tell you your hemoglobin, that will tell you your red cells, your white cells, your platelets, all that. Um, a CBC doesn't really tell you a whole lot in a psych evaluation that I'm aware of, um, except maybe for the platelets that can tell you if you're having extreme like, liver damage. Um, if the psyche eval is due to possible overdose or something like that. Um, now with this CMP, that's the complete metabolic panel, that will tell you a little bit more of, that's like your chemistry test, that can tell you your um, creatinine, so that would be your kidney functioning, kidney functioning, how well your kidneys are functioning. Um, that can tell you your liver enzymes, so if your body's really not doing well, um, your electrolytes, a lot of times patients can have episodes if their electrolytes are imbalanced, and normally when they're low, um, so a patient is dehydrated, that can cause um, some things to manifest. Um, so, uh, so that's your CMP. The next test, would be your alcohol test. So obviously if the patient um, has drank a lot of alcohol, then their levels can be pretty high and that can be a reason for either them being suicidal or acting strange for a doctor to think, oh, this person may be on a few different substances or drunk, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, besides that, another thing with the psyche valve is if a patient is suicidal, um, but even not so, they usually just check it all, is the acetaminophen salicylate. So acetaminophen is um, Tylenol, so the patient tried to overdose on Tylenol, and then a salicylate is like aspirin, um, if the patient tried to overdose on aspirin. So a lot of times, um, those are really readily available, acetaminophen, you know, they say it shouldn't really be over the counter because it can cause extreme like organ failure. Um, and then the same with aspirin, it's so easy to get your hands on, but overdose, you basically just bleed out. It stops clotting um, and your platelets just won't function right. Um, liver damage, just everything. So that's kind of the sad part of it. But a lot of times when people come in, um, even if they're not suicidal, they'll just run the whole panel just to kind of check all their bases. Um, and then the next test we would run would be the drug screen. So on a drug screen, at least we run a panel that kind of tries to catch everything. Now, obviously, it's not going to catch everything, um, but it will catch the, mo the, <laughs> the main um, main drugs that people use. So our drug screen tests for THC, PCP, cocaine, methamphetamine, amphetamine, opiates, benzos, tricyclic antidepressants, methadone, barbiturates, oxy, um, PPX, and buff BUP, which is like buprenorphine. Um, which a lot of times, some of those drugs are drugs that people abuse. Um, or can abuse once they're trying to get off of harder drugs. So um, sometimes they prescribe like pregnant women methadone to try to get them off of meth or even other people, but then um, methadone can be abused too. So any of those drugs can be abused. Um, but anyway, so we will check those levels and that is only a screen 
So that test is kind of just a test we can get done in like 10 minutes um, so the physician has an idea of what he's dealing with to kind of um, know where to go from there with the evaluation, the psych eval. Um, but those aren't um, final and this is just a screen and in-house it can't be used against you unless you're you know came in under like the cops brought you in or whatever it's just a screen to try to help the physician aid in your care or you know whoever is care not saying you're coming in for a psyche valve but just anyone um, another test that they sometimes run along with the drug screen is a urinalysis or UA with micro and that really doesn't tell them a whole lot um, in helping with the psyche valve. Uh, it's mostly the drug screen that they're worried about. The urinalysis isn't so much important. Um, it can say if a patient has a UTI, which a lot of times, especially in older uh, elderly patients, they can have um, urinary tract infections and that can affect um, their mental state. And I know in my grandmother's case, like her dementia got worse when she had a UTI. I think it has to do with the um, electrolytes being balanced, like I said earlier, and it can make them, um, their dementia, or different different mental things that deal with your mind, um, worse. But another thing it can check, or it can show, is um, casts in your urine. So I've seen a lot of times when patients are on heavy drugs, they can have casts in their urine, um, which are proteins that coat the inside of your kidneys. And then when you go pee, they are shed out into your urine. Um, that's just, you know, or if you have uh, kidney failure, you'll have that. Um, some people with different, like polycystic kidney disease will have that. So it's not always that you're on drugs that you have these casts in your urine, um, but it is a pretty good indicator. Um, another reason you could have casts in your urine if you've been throwing up or you're dehydrated or different things, um, but anything that would be hard on your kidneys will um, can make you have casts in your urine. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, comment down below. I don't run a ton of psych um, lab test panels anymore, um, but I did used to work at a psychiatric hospital. Uh, where we ran uh, them quite frequently because we had inpatients along with um, patients who came in through the ER. That was the known as like the psych hospital. So a lot of patients came straight to the ER and then they got put up on the floor. So we had more than your average uh, uh, psych panels done just on ER patients. And then, like I said, along with the patients that were inpatients, um, both pediatric and just adults. Um, psych. So, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. I will try to respond to everyone, and thank you guys for watching. Bye.